back to our channel. Today's topic is how to identify a good investment opportunity. The basics, nothing technical. This is a question I receive at least twice every week. Is this a good investment opportunity? Should I put my money in this or not? So if you're one of the people that are wondering what is a good investment opportunity? How do I identify a good investment opportunity? There are three things you have to look out for and I'm going to be sharing them with you. Number one, if it's too good to be true, know that it's too good to be true. It starts off like this. Here is an opportunity of a lifetime. Then wrong. It is not an opportunity of a lifetime. Well, it could be an opportunity that will teach you a lesson of a lifetime. This is not a Ponzi scheme. It is a Ponzi scheme. Neither is it a scam. Then you know it's a wrap. It is really a scam. So when you get messages like this, Please, it is not the right investment option for you. If it's too good to be true, know that it's too good to be true. When they are trying to defend at the beginning, telling you, oh, it's not a scam, it's not a Ponzi scheme. If someone is giving you an opportunity of a lifetime, it's not something they have to try so hard to convince you because they know the kind of opportunity they are presenting to you. So if they have to defend themselves, telling you it's not a Ponzi scheme, it's not a scam. It is a Ponzi scheme. It's a big scam. So be careful. The second thing to consider is the value chain of that investment opportunity. You know, for a business or an investment to be sustainable, it has to have a certain level of value that it adds that has to be in rotation for it to be sustained, to yield you more returns on your investment. And by value, I don't mean money. It has to be either in products or in services because cash is something that just confirms the exchange of the value, not the value you are receiving. So if you are investing in something and they are telling you, oh, all you have to do is bring money and someone else will bring money and another person will bring money and they are telling you no products or services involved, you just have to just bring money. And in six months you get so, so, so thing, then my dear. For example, still on that message, there's a part that says this, no selling of products, no referring of people, no fraudulent manipulations. Which business, my dear? It also said that it's a well-structured program to help people accumulate wealth acquire assets and enjoy a comfortable life through their platform so you're helping people accumulate assets and wealth what are you doing like you are not you're not adding any value to anybody's life you're not exchanging any products you're not exchanging any services but you're going to get a lot of money that is going to buy cars for all the members and help them accumulate wealth but you don't have any business you're doing like you don't have any substantial value you're adding yeah, like it, it reeks of scam, it reeks of Ponzi scheme. So when you get opportunities like this, chances are that if they say they are not a Ponzi scheme, they are the biggest Ponzi scheme because it's all about collecting from someone to give you. And the third is the emotional stress you go through when you eventually lose because if it's for losing, you lose. Maybe you might start by gaining or you get that SUV car and then another SUV car. But, you know, as you get the first SUV car, you'll be motivated to add more money. So it's when you add that money and probably get another one, when you now add maybe the third or the fourth one, and it's not even something you can explain to someone. First of all, the shame. You will be so disappointed in yourself that how could I have done this to myself? And maybe if you now have a friend like me that will just be at the side laughing, laughing at you, telling you, I told you so. You are doing MMM, forming his networking business. So you have to consider yourself first because a lot of people are like, eh, I know it's my money they are giving someone else, so it only makes sense for me to receive someone else's money. It might make sense to you at that point. You might think, oh, I understand the risk. But when it actually happens, when you fall prey to that risk, it's not something you get over because I know people that have been through it, not me, but I know people that have been through it. It will even stop you from taking better opportunities in the future because you get paranoid and you're like, what if it happens again? You need your confidence. So anything that would affect your confidence, any poor judgments that would make you not identify better opportunities in the future, it's better to avoid it. If it's too good to be true, then it is too good to be true. If it's not adding any value or creating any value for you or for anybody, then it is not a good option. It can't be sustained. And when you eventually fail, you'll be so disappointed in yourself that you might even be blinded to better opportunities in the future. So it's better to be patient and advise yourself when you need to. Don't just do it because every other person is doing it. Don't do it because, oh, I'll just do it and stop. You don't do those type of things and stop. It's, it's intoxicating. It's something you do, you start with 5,000 Naira, 
you add another zero, fifty thousand, another zero, five hundred thousand. So you put five million and it will just be gone like that. So you have to be careful. These exactly. are the things you should consider before you invest your money in any scheme out there. They are there to hurt you. Trust me. Let me know what you think about this video. Feel free to share your own thoughts on the topic because I know it can be very controversial. Thank you so much for watching. See you on our next video. Bye.